you are all that is within you. Except from avengers beyond the mind. Usually man is identified with body mind mechanism. It is not only that man is identified with the body mind realm, instead he considers himself as body, as mind. As long as you are identified with body or mind, or body mind realm, you cannot be aware. You will get the fleeting glimpses of awareness. However, you will not be aware. Awareness will not be your very nature. You are living on the surface. To live in awareness is what is meant by being eternal. 90% of your life's miseries are because of lack of this awareness. You take the body as yourself and then you suffer. You take mind as your only reality. You go through the emotional, intellectual and all kind of miseries and upheavals. You are suffering in a dream. Body is dream, so too mind is a dream as well. Both body and mind are ephemeral. Body keeps on changing every moment. So too mind that is aggregate of thoughts and emotions goes on changing. Today you love someone your love flows profusely for that person. Tomorrow things may change. That person does not create any more ripples in you. One without whose sun never set, sun never rose in your life, does not create any more ripples. That person is not any more important. Such is the nature, the ephemeral nature of the mind and its contents, the emotions. But we are so much engrossed in these emotions that we consider these as reality. The body is not yours. It came through the interaction of ovum and sperm. It is the outer walls of a building. You do not live in the walls, you do not live in the outskirts. The body is not yours, soon it will not be yours. Where were you when your body was not there? One day you entered the body and one day you exit the body. Body is the house where you live. Where were you before your birth? What face had you then and after that? Where will you be? What will be your face like? Will you be a man or a woman? Consciousness is neither man nor woman, not body oriented, not mind oriented, neither male nor female. It is not conditioned by age or all that is ephemeral. If you think that I am a man, this is lack of awareness, but this is what we keep on saying. I am a big man, I am a big woman, I am this and that. If you think that I am a man, this is lack of awareness, I am consciousness. Even to say this is wrong, consciousness is and I am aware of this. How can consciousness be divided into sex? Consciousness has no sex organs. If you think you are a child or you are a young man or an old man, you are again lacking in awareness. How can you be old or young? Consciousness is neither of the two. 
Consciousness is eternal. It is the same unborn and unmanifest. It is never born and never dies. It remains. Consciousness is life itself. Consciousness indeed is eternal. Or take the mind. That is the second layer, indeed the deeper one. And it is more subtle and nearer to consciousness. However, you take your mind to be yourself. You go on saying, I. If somebody contradicts your idea, you say, this is my idea. Oh, this is my thought. And you fight for it. There are organizations that protect the copyrights, whatever thought has come out of you, it is your copyright. You want it to be copyrighted, the intellectual property. Nobody debates for truth. People discuss and debate and fight for their I. My idea means me. When you are copywriting something, you are not really copywriting the truth because truth cannot be copyrighted. What you are considering or copywriting is truth as my idea, my thought. How dare you contradict it? I will prove that I am right. Nobody is bothered about truth. It is a question of who is right. Not a question of what is right. The emphasis is given to the I-ness, not to the content. People discuss and debate and fight for their eyes. Nobody is bothered about truth. It is a question of who is right, you or I. Not a question of what is right, this or that. Who has become more important than what? But then people are identified and not only ordinary people, even the people who are religious, they are identified with who than with what. A man renounces the family, the children, the marketplace and the entire pluralistic world. He goes in the monasteries, in the mountains, you ask him, are you a Hindu? He says, yes, certainly I am a Hindu. And you know Hinduism is the greatest religion in the world. What is this Hinduism? What is this Christianity? What is this Islam? Is consciousness Hindu, Muslim or Christian or Jew? Is air that you breathe in is Hindu or Muslim or Christian or anything else? Is the air that you are breathing is male or female, old or young? It is always fresh. It is the mind. Lack of awareness is if you get identified with the non-self and think it is the self. And then there is the heart. It is nearest to consciousness yet is still far away. These are the three layers, the body, mind and heart. There is body, thought and feeling. When you feel, when you feel, you have to be very aware to feel that it is not you who feels. Remember, the thought is not you, the body is not you, the feeling is not you. If you are aware, then you will say that a feeling is arising on the surface, on the inner sky. A thought is arising on the inner sky. It is again a part of the mechanism, of course. It is nearest to consciousness. That is why heart is closest to consciousness, head just in between. And body is the farthest away, the farthest away. Be still. Heart is not you. Even feeling is a phenomena. It comes and goes. One moment a feeling arises of love. Next moment 
a feeling of hatred or anger arises for the same person or for the same situation and we go on living. But day after day, with those kind of understandings. But a still heart is not you. Even feeling is a phenomenon, it comes and goes. Like a ripple, it arises and dies. A wave rises on the surface of the ocean. So too, the emotions, the feelings arise on the surface of the sky, on the surface of the ocean that consciousness is. It is a moon. It exists and then disappears like a wave, like a ripple. You are that which always exists. You are eternal. You were in the beginning. You are now. And you will be in the end when the creation is no more. You are eternal. You are consciousness. You have to be aware of this. This is the reality that you are. As long as you live with this, you live in bliss, you live in harmony, you live in paradise. This is your home, this is your destiny, this is the ultimate.